Rosie. <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tucking along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and Johnny steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Tim's drawing book, the world to spy, the window frame, and Rosie and Tim, we play our games. <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and Johnny writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And now, I'll draw the river with my two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So, I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Oh, what a beautiful morning. I'll get my life jacket on first. And then, have a look at my book. And it says that just down here, there are some locked gates. I'm going to go through those and all the way down the river to Tewkesbury. So I'll get the engine started and on my way. Rosie? Where are we going to, Jim? I like seeing all these different boats. They give me lots of ideas for stories. <laughs> oh, Fizzy. <laughs> We're going all down the river. Mm, to see lots of different kinds of boats. Huh? I'm coming to the lock now. I have to go through there with the boat to go further down the river. Ah, oh, and there's the lock keeper waiting for us with his dog. Are you there now? How do you know? Hello. Good day, sir. Nice day. You have a good trip. Very, very good, thank good. you. Good. I see you've got a helper. Yes, Dino. 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 I'll take your rope for you. It's a good name. Come on, take the rope. What a whizzy dog, Jim. Yeah. His name's Dino. Dino. <laughs> hey, Jim, Dino's going to catch that rope. <gasps> He's caught it. Oh, yeah. He's a clever dog, isn't he? He's lovely. Thank you very much. There we go. He's a very good helper, isn't he? Yes, 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 he's been quite good. He certainly enjoys it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Do you, yes. Does he get a lot of practice? Do you get a lot of boats coming oh, through? Oh, yes. I do about 5,500. 5,500? Oh. Really? Oh. My goodness, it's a lot. Rosie? Yeah? Let's throw Dino our rope now. OK. <laughs> Dino! 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 <laughs> Catch, boy! Oh, big boy. Big oh, boy. Well done. He's got a rope. Thanks, <laughs> Dino. Oh, 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 oh. Jim. Rosie. Yeah? Dino just took all of our rope. I know. He's taken all of it. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone to play with our rope. 
Thank you. Bye-bye. My goodness, that's an unusual house, isn't it? It's on legs over the water, and it's got three sides, like a triangle. Jim, that, that house is the same shape. Yeah. Rosie? Yeah? That house is a triangle house. Oh, yeah. I'm going to draw that house. <laughs> In a triangle house lived a triangle dog. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> Throw him a rope, said Rosie, and the triangle man said he'd catch if he can. Oh, throw him a rope, said Rosie. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. Oh, come and look at this noggin. There's a bow with a big triangle on it. <gasps> Roses, a triangle boat. Oh, yeah. Rosie? Yeah? It's blowing away. Oh. <laughs> the wind, <laughs> the wind is blowing it. Down the river. Yeah. <laughs> sail, sail, sail the boat, sings back down the river. A blow away boat with a triangle sail, a flip, a flop, a quiver. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Just along here, there's a marina at Dukesbury. Dukesbury Marina, there's the sign. There are all kinds of boats here. You know, I've never been on a sailing boat. I wonder if there's a chance of anybody giving me a ride on one down the river. I really love that. Right, I'm safely tied up now. So I'll go and have a look at all these different boats. My goodness, look at that lovely sailing boat. It's got a lot of ropes. I bet you have to be really good at knots to sail that. Motor boats, like this one. I wonder which one of these boats will be best for me to have a ride on. Well, that looks a bit small for somebody my size. But there's a good one over there. I'll have a look at that. Rosie, look. Lots and lots and lots of boats. Come on, Jim. Full of fizzcock. Hello. Hello. Is this your boat? Yeah. I wonder if you'd do me a great favour. I've never been on a sailing boat. Is there any possibility of a, of a uh, ride? Of course. Come aboard and join Thank me. Thank you very much. My name is John. I'm Alan. How do you do? How do you do? Thank you very much. Right. Well, it's got a lot of uh, ropes, hasn't it? Is the sail difficult to get up? No, in actual fact that they are uh, all rolled up and uh, neat and tidy at the moment, but I can quite easily run them up for you if you like. Oh, could I just see, yes. please? Yes. yes. Rosie, what's that man doing? He's pulling at the rope, Jim. Oh. And it's pulling up that sail, Rosie. And it's a triangle sail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sail, sail, sail the boat, sink set down the river. A blow away boat with a triangle sail, a flip, a flop, a quiver. <laughs> sail, sail, sail the boat, sink set down the river. A blow away boat with a triangle sail, a flip, a flop, a quiver. <laughs> triangle <laughs> boat, Rosie. Yeah. Blow! <laughs> Blow! 
<laughs> oh, Fishcock's got the rope now. A blow away boat. <laughs> blow. Blow. <laughs> blow. Ready <laughs> about. Lee ho. Blow the boat right across the river. <laughs> My turn now. Ready? Blow it back and back again. Back across the river. <laughs> Shall we do it again, Jim? Yeah. Blow, blow, blow the boat right across the river. My turn now. Ready? Blow it back and back again, back across the river. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, John. I hope you enjoyed yourself anyway. I did. It was lovely. Good. Bye bye. Right, bye. Quack, 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 quack. Donkey's quacking his quacky song. This cock's coming. We've, We've played, played too, too long. long. Come on. Well, that was an exciting trip. A little bit too exciting, really. It's um, made me feel a bit wibbly-wobbly. Anyway, I think it's given me a good idea for a story, so I'll sit down and do some quiet writing now. Oh, he's coming. I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day. Rosie and Jim were chugging along on the old rag doll. They were just having a glass of orange juice when the wind blew a big wave at their boat. It made it wobble a bit and Jim spilt orange juice all down his shirt. Give it a wash in the sink, said Rosie. It'll soon dry on a day like this. Jim hung his shirt out to dry, but the wind took hold of it. It blew and blew, harder and harder, and it blew their boat away. What in a blow-away boat, said Jim. The wind blew their boat out of the water and into the sky. They were soon sailing amongst the clouds. They saw some cuckoos flying past and waved to them. We must be in cloud cuckoo land, said Rosie. Here's a fine mess you've gone and got us into. How are we going to get home again? Easy, said Jim. He went outside and took his shirt in. It's dry now, he said. And now there was no shirt to catch the wind. The boat sank back down into the water. That's better, said Rosie. They saw many more blow-away boats and waved to them, but they didn't blow into the sky like the rag doll. There must be something special about your shirt, said Rosie. Better take it to the laundrette next time. Rosie! Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, talking along on the old back door. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye! <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, talking along on the old rag doll. 
Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim and John, he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's back. Jim's drawing book, the world drifts by, the window frame, and Rosie and Jim, we play our games. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and Johnny writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the river with two blue pens. Like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Oh, my old blanket needs a good shake. Just look at it. It's getting very thin and worn out. I've had it since I was a boy. Oh, then. Got it folded up neatly. Get the doors closed. And then I'll leave it out in the fresh air for a bit. Get my life jacket on. Well, my book says that if I go along here, I'll come to a place called Upton upon Severn. And there's a weaver's workshop there that people can visit. I wonder if they make blankets. I think I'll go and see. Where are we going to, Jim? I hope they do make blankets. I'd like a new one. We're going up the river to make a blanket, Jim. A blanket, Rosie? Yeah. <laughs> Snuggly blanket? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fizzy gog's blanket. <laughs> oh, snuggly cuddly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, we're almost there now. Cuddly, cozy, rosy. Wrapped like a posy. Fizzy gog's blanket. Snuggly warm. Rosy. And Jim. Will take no <laughs> Cuddly, cosy, rosy Wrapped like a posy Fizzy cock's blanket Snuggly warm Rosie and Jim will, will take, take no call <laughs> Whoops Ah, oh, here's a good place to stop And there's the tower at Upton Good view of that
Oh, I mustn't leave my blanket out. Better just tidy it up before I... Oh. Oh, look at that. I really will have to find that weaver's workshop now and discover if they make new blankets. I'll just put it away neatly. Before I go, pop it in the lid. And I'll get on my way. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely day for a picnic, isn't it? Yes, it's You've picked a nice place for it, too. Tim, that little baby's got a special blanket. Mm -hmm. She looks all cosy, cosy, cuddly, rosy. Yeah. <laughs> and that little girl's got one, too. Nice to see you anyway. Enjoy your picnic. Bye-bye. 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 This way to the weavers, Rosie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. 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 My goodness, what a busy place. Hello. Good morning. How do you do? My name's John. My name's Siggy. Very nice to meet you. May I look round your workshop? Yes, please do. What I'm really looking for is a blanket. Well, I think we might be able to help you because um, we do actually make blankets here, and the blankets we make are made of sheep's wool. Ah. A new blanket? Yeah, a snuggly blanket. It doesn't look like the wool on the sheep, does it? Well, you have to make the wool into a thread to start off with. Mm -hmm. That's the first process. And that's actually what Beverly over there is doing on the spinning wheel. So oh, shall I we see. go over there and have a yes, look at I'd it? Yes, I'd love to see. Hello. Hello. You see, she's, she's using the wool straight off the sheep, so that has been cut <laughs> this year off the sheep. Of a, of a curly sheep. Of a very curly sheep. Mm, mm. With very long wool on it. Mm -hmm. Rosie, it's all curly whirly wool. Yeah, and it's all twisty wisty. <laughs> As you can see there, she's just holding the wool, just gently against the thread. Yes. And then the spinning wheel makes sure that that is twisted into a thread. Yes. And you've got some here that's been made oh here's a lot isn't there that's been made into that's thread. that's what it looks like spun mm -hmm, up yes mm -hmm. but you don't i mean that's the color off the sheep but mm -hmm. it doesn't have to stay white you mm -hmm. can put color into it oh, and dye those, it those are nice aren't they? look at those aren't those lovely colors beautiful it still doesn't quite look like a blanket though does it no you then have to weave the threads into a fabric or into a blanket mm -hmm, and if mm -hmm. i can show you that's actually what vera is doing over here oh, on I the hand see. loom yes hello vera hello Mm -hmm. And what she could do now is to go in and out of those threads with a darning needle. Ah, just like darning, yeah. In, out, in, out. In, out, in, out. <laughs> that would be rather slow, wouldn't it? It would take a long time to do mm -hmm. that, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, in order to speed it up, you can set up your threads so that you can lift a whole lot in one go. Mm. That's what Vera's oh, doing I there. See. Ooh! Look, she's pushing it through, Rosie. Yeah, and pulling it back, Jim. Is there a still quicker way of doing it? Yes, there would be a quicker way if we went over to my looms over there and have a look at ah, that. Ah, I see. Does it work the same way as the little one? Yes, but mine is running on a motor. And that's the shuttle, like Vera's stick, mm -hmm. that has got the thread in it. Mm -hmm. And I have to put that into the loom now before I can start it. That slides across like that, yes. It goes backwards mm -hmm. and forwards, like a little mouse almost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And stand back and watch out, because it's quite noisy. Glitter and the clatter, the loom weaves the threads Makes a cosy blanket to put on Noggin's bed With the glitter and the clatter, the loom weaves the threads Makes a cosy blanket to put on Noggin's bed <laughs>
Is that how my blanket will be made? Your blanket and a lot of other blankets will be made like this. Well, I'd like to pick one now, if I may. Well, shall we go over and have a look at it? Please. <laughs> and that is quite a long blanket as well, so you really can wrap yourself up in it for those cold oh, yes. winter nights. Mm. Yes, I like that. Yes, Will I like that be that all right? Please, yeah. mm. We're weavers now, Jim. Yeah. We're weaving all in and out, Rosie. <laughs> Making a nice blanket for a fizzy dog. <laughs> mm. A blanket with no holes in it, Rosie. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, Rosie. Uh huh. Push it through and uh, then pull uh, it back uh, like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that. Uh, Rosie, yeah. that's not a blanket. Uh, well, you, well, you do it, Nitty Noggin. Come on, you push it through and, and then and then pull it back and you have to do it really, really fast. And, well, you can't do it. Oh, no. Push and throw, see it go. Rosie can't go any far. I can, I can. Push oh, it through oh, and pull it back. Oh, 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 oh. oh, 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 oh dear. Oh, what a disaster. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was a very interesting visit. My pleasure. See you anon. Bye bye. Bye. Wah, 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 wah. <gasps> He's cracking, he's cracking so. Fizz dog's coming, we've, we've played, played too long. long. Come on. He's coming. Now, let's have a look at my nice new blanket. Well, that one's got no holes in it at all. And it's going to be really warm for cold nights. And I'm going to fold it up now, put it on the chair, because it's given me an idea for a story. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day... Rosie and Jim were chugging along on the old rag doll when they met a young girl, weaving at a loom. It went clitter-clatter, clitter-clatter all day long. What are you doing, said Jim. I'm weaving cloth for my stepmother's new dress, said the girl. Why are you looking so sad, said Rosie. Because it will never be ready on time. My loom goes so slowly, she'll be very angry and I'll be sent to bed with no dinner. We'll help, said Rosie. We know someone who can weave very, very fast, said Jim. Come with us. They went somewhere they'd been before on their boat. Midsummer weavers. There was a beautiful young woman with a loom that had an engine to make it go. She could weave cloth so fast, whizz, fizz, that it was done before you knew it. And her loom wove the stepmother's cloth whilst they all had a cup of coffee. Then they said, Thank you very much to the kind young woman. How can we pay you, said Jim. You can put me in a story and make me famous, said the woman. That'll do for me. And so they did. Rosie! Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, talking along on the old back door. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Tim, Rosie and Tim, talking along on the old rag dog. 
Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim's drawing book, the world to spy, the window frame, and Rosie and Jim we play our games. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and Johnny writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One cloudy day. And then I'll draw the river my two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So, I'll put this picture on, on the book to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. My life jacket on. And today, I'm going to sail my boat right along the river and out of the city. That'll be a nice change. So I'll get the engine going and on my way. That's the nice thing about living on a boat. You can change the place where you live and stay at home as well. One day, you can be in the town with shops and houses all around you. And the next day, you can be in the countryside with fields all around you. We're going to where there are no houses, Jim. Is that the countryside, Rosie? Um, well, that's what Buzzy Face said. <laughs> We're not in the countryside yet, Rosie. Oh, there's the milkman. Makes me feel quite thirsty. Morning. Morning. That reminds me, I have some nice milkshakes in my fridge. Ooh, milkshakes in the fridge, Rosie. Three milkshakes out of his milk fridge. Three milkshakes out of his milk fridge. And one milkshake. That did get drunk. There's the rag doll, safely locked up and moored. And this looks like a nice place for a walk over here. I'll go that way. Uh, 
Oh, there's a nice herd of cows. I bet they produce a lot of milk. Oh, Rosie! Look at that great big monster with those great big eyes! <laughs> No, Guinness, not a monster, that's a cow! Fiskog just said so. A cow? Oh! oh. <laughs> Excuse me, are you a monster? Will they hurt us? No, they're nice animals. They just want to eat lots of grass, look. Oh. You mean they eat this uh. stuff? Yeah. Ooh. Doesn't look very nice. They make oh, they make a funny noise. <laughs> yeah. Moo. 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 Oh, there's a farm. My goodness, I do feel thirsty. I could drink a milkshake, but I've left them all on the boat. I wonder if I could get a drink of milk at the farm. I'll go and have a look. Oh, hello. What can hello. I do for you? Well, I was just walking past and I was feeling terribly thirsty and wondered if you had any milk. Oh, well, I haven't got any milk at the moment because the cows haven't been milked. Ah, are they being milked soon? Uh, yes, in about ten minutes, quarter of an hour. Ah, perhaps I could give you a hand. Yes. Oh, but you haven't got any Wellingtons. No, I'm afraid I haven't, no. Oh, well, perhaps I could lend you some. Oh, thank you very much. Boo! Oh, what's that? Sounds as if the cows are here already. Yes. Cows are. Yeah, curious, though, yes. aren't they? Look, Rosie. Fisco isn't scared of those big cows, is he? No. He must be very brave, Jim. Mm. Yeah. Where are the cows going now? They're going into the milking parlour to be milked by machine. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But then I think you want to see how they're milked years ago, oh, don't like you? To, yes. So let's mm. go along this way yeah, here and yeah. find a cow being milked by hand. Rosie? He said something about milk. <laughs> what a gobbin! I can't see any milk. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, this is how we used to milk many years ago. Oh, this is milking by hand, is it? Yes, that's mm -hmm. correct. Mm -hmm. My goodness, it looks like hard work. Yes, it is. Rosie, he's squeezing white stuff out of that cow. That's it, Jim. That's milk. Milk? Like the milk we drink when we drink our milkshake? Yes, I'm sure it is. Oh. And it's coming very frothy. Yes, and did you know it's warm? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Yes. Of course, it must be. Would you like a taste? I'd love one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Straight mm. from a cow, John, some mm. fresh milk. It really is warm, isn't it? Mm. Yes. Mm. Well, that's how we used to milk cows by hand. Now, would you like to see how we do it today? I would. Yes, that's thank you. That's a good you. idea. Mm. Come on, let's good. go up to the milking parlour. There. Lots of nice milk. There. I'm going to try some. Oh, this looks nice. Rosie? Naughty, naughty. Oh, <laughs> I was having some of this creamy milk, Jim. Was it Lovely. nice? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks, cow. Thank you for the milk. <laughs> well, John, here we are in the milking parlour. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Now, what's happening here? I see a lot of, lot of pipes and things Yes. Down. Well, uh, the, the unit is put on the cow by hand, mm -hmm. and when it's put on, it's got a suction inside the tube Oh, there. I see, yeah. Oh, I can feel it, yeah. Yes, it's sucking the milk out of the um, cow's udder, just like mm -hmm. Andrew was um, squirting it into the bucket earlier uh, today. Yeah. yeah. And then is it going down this pipe? Yes, yes, there's the milk coming into the jar. And then also, when the cow is milking, it's having its uh, tea oh, in the I afternoon. Oh, I see. No. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mrs. Moo Cow, did you know that your milk goes all the way up there into that great big bottle? Hmm. 
It's sucked out by that machine. Uh, and, and it goes into that great big tank. Thank you, Mrs. Moo Cow. Bye. Rosie? <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> da! Here you are, Da! <laughs> Duck, you've drunk all Fizz Gog's milkshake. Naughty Duck. Yes. Rosie? Yes? He can't have this one then, can he? No, no. you can't. <laughs> oh. Rosie and Jim went to the farm. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> they got some milk and bought it home. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> With a whisk, whisk here. <laughs> and a whisk, whisk. <laughs> here a whisk, there a whisk, everywhere a whisk, whisk. <laughs> oh, Rosie and Jim went to the farm. Boo, boo. <laughs> Three new milkshakes for Fizz Dog Bridge. Ducky's cracking his cracky song. Fizz Dog's coming. We've milked too long. <laughs> Come on, Jim. There's nothing like milk fresh from the cow, but I'm still looking forward to my milkshakes. I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day. Rosie and Jim were tired of travelling on the old rag doll, so they went for a walk. I'm thirsty, said Rosie. They saw a duck drinking from the river. We can't drink that, said Jim. They saw a bee drinking from a flower. We can't drink that, said Rosie. They saw a cow drinking from its trough. We can't drink that, said Jim. It's got little fizzly things walking on it, said Rosie. Where can we have a drink? Mm, I can give you a drink, said the cow. I didn't know cows could talk, said Rosie. Mm, they can in stories, said the cow. Where can we get this drink, then, said Rosie. Please, said Jim. Mm, come with me, said the cow. They followed her across the field to a house where the farmer milked her. When he went out, the cow said, Help yourselves. Rosie and Jim found some cups and dipped them into the fresh milk. Mmm, lovely, said Rosie. Delicious, said Jim. Thanks, said Jim to the cow. Thank you, cow, said Rosie. That was super fizzy. Goodbye. Rosie! Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, talking along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Jim, Rosie and Jim, talking along on the old rag doll. 
Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's back. Jim's drawing book, the world to spy, the window frame, and Rosie and Jim we play our games. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and Johnny writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One cloudy day. And then I'll draw the canal. And my two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So, I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Now, I'll get my life jacket on. And there's one job I must do today. I've been collecting my rubbish up in this bank. And I must find somewhere to take it. So I'll get the engine started and on my way. Of course, when you live in a house, you can collect all your rubbish up and put it in the dustbin. And the dustbin men will come and collect it. But when you live on a boat, it's different. You've got to put it in a bag and take it to a place where the dustbin men can get it. Fiskog's taking us to a dustbin. Dustbin? Rosie, he's not going to throw us away, is he? <laughs> no, Noggin. He's going to throw all the rubbish away. Oh. <gasps> They've dropped some rubbish. Rosie, they're rubbish droppers. <gasps> Oh, some people are awful. They don't even bother to put their rubbish in a bin. They don't mind what kind of mess they leave behind. Oh, that's better. They put it in the bin now. People should put their rubbish in the bin, shouldn't they, Rosie? Yes. In the bin. Pick it up and put it in. Put it in. Put it in. Pick it up and put it in, put it in the bin. Yeah. In the bin. Pick it up and put it in, put it in, put it in. Pick it up and put it in, put it in the bin. Yeah. Jim, do it faster. Faster? Yes. Ah, right. Pick it up and put it in, put it in, put it in. Pick it up and put it in, put it in the bed. Ow! Jim, you trapped my fingers, Noggy. 
so rosy. <laughs> There go the dustbin men. There'd be a mess if they didn't come round. Excuse me! Can you take my rubbish, please? Excuse me! Oh, Rosie! He's just missed him. <laughs> well, we'll have to catch up with him now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'll catch up with them later. We could do with a dustbin man or somebody cleaning this canal up. Why do people throw their rubbish in the canal? I don't know. Pick it up and put it in, put it in, put it in. Pick it up and put it in, put it in the bin. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, Jim, the rubbish lorry. A man's putting rubbish in it. Who's he? He's eating the rubbish. <laughs> 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 oh, thank goodness. Caught up with him at last. I'll be able to get rid of my rubbish now without making any mess with it. We caught the rubbish lorry up! Hooray! Now we can throw our rubbish away, Rosie! Yes! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Hi! Wait for me! Oh, hang on! Oh, I'm glad I've caught you. Do you know, I've been chasing you for miles on my boat. Did you not see me? No, I didn't. Didn't see. you? See, I've got this bag of rubbish. And I don't know what to do with it with being on a boat. Can you take it for yes, me? I will take it. Oh, lovely. I bet you collect a lot of bags in a day. Yeah, about 2,000. 2,000? Yes. Good gracious yeah, me. Yes. And don't people drop a lot of litter? I always say keep it in the bags and we can throw it away. To make your job a lot easier. Yes. Well, here's my rubbish then. Oh dear. It's a mess. <laughs> Fizzcog's a rubbish dropper now, Rosie. <laughs> Poor Fizzcog. <laughs> you should have put those in the bottle bank. Oh, yes, you're quite right. Of course, it says green glass on there, doesn't it? I'll, uh, I'll pop them in. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. One, two, two, three. There we go. Green bottles, Rosie. Yeah, in a special green bottle place. Mm. <laughs> well, I'll remember that next time. Thanks yes, very much. Okay. Bye, bye bye. Jim! That's eating fish dogs rubbish. Mm. And that 
Tish dot. Rubbish lorry, gobbles a lot. Gobble, gobble, rubbish in the bin. No, no, Rosie, that's not going in. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, oh. um, this is rubbish and that is not... Rubbish lorry, gobbles a lot. Gobble, gobble, rubbish in the bin. No, no, Rosie, that's not going in. Oh. <sighs> well, why not? I mean, my rubbish lorry is very hungry, aren't you? Yes, he says he is. Uh, well, he could have just a little weedy, weedy little oh, bit. Oh, good, yes, we'll have those. <laughs> da, 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 da. No, no, Rosie! I'm saving those for Fizz Dog. What for? I'm saving these green bottles for his special green bottle bank. <laughs> <laughs> Ducky's cracking his cracky song. This dog's coming. We've gobbled too long. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, good. That's got rid of the newspapers. But oh, three green bottles. Wonder where they came from. Well, I'll save them for next time I go to the bottle bank. I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day, Rosie and Jim were going along on the old rag doll when their engine went puff, rug, cluggity, clug, and it just stopped. We are stuck, said Rosie. The water went bubble, 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 and a great, huge, enormous, gigantic thing came out of it. Help, shouted Rosie. Who are you, said Jim, picking up a rolled up newspaper. I'm the junk serpent, shouted the thing. I've bitten your boat, and now I want my dinner. The junk serpent swallowed the rag doll. How are we going to get out, said Jim. Give it the good rubbish, said Rosie, and be quick about it before it chews us up. So Jim shouted, let us out and we'll give you lots of good rubbish to eat. The junk serpent spat out the rag doll again. They fed it bags of the best rubbish. It crunched up the empty bottles. It chewed the newspapers. It swallowed the cans. They fed it every day. The junk serpent was happy now. When it laid its eggs, they hatched out into new paper to make nice new books, new bottles for the milkman, and the new cans for Rosie and Jim to have a cool drink on a hot day. Rosie! Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, talking along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Rosie and Jim, we play our games. 
Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and Johnny writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a fine day, so I'll begin with that. One fine day. And then I'll draw the canal with two blue pens like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. I'll get my life jacket on. That'll keep me afloat if I go and fall into the water, which I hope I won't. And I'm going to use my waterways book to plan where I'd like to go next. I'm about here, and I'm going to try and go right round here and make for Dudley. I better get the engine started. You know, I always think how quiet it is just before I start the engine. I wonder what it was like in the old days before they had engines. Well, they had horses instead. That's what uh, this path's for. It wasn't made for me, it was made for the horse. It's called a tow path, because the horse used to walk along here, and it had a long rope, much longer than my rope, and the horse would tow the boat, like this. I'm not going to pull it, because I'm not strong enough. Jim. And ready to go and make for Dudley. Hey Jim, we're going to see Dudley. Oh, is Dudley a horse? No. Oh, is Dudley a man? No, Dudley's a place on Fizzgog's map. A place? <laughs> You mean a place called Dudley all the way along the canal? Yeah. These canals were built a long time before I was born. Then they used to carry all sorts of things from place to place that people need. Just the way the noisy lorries do on the road now. Oh, Rosie, look, there's a swan. There's two swans. One, two swans. Oh, Rosie. Yeah? They're on an old broken boat. Yeah, it's all worn out. Mm, poor old boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there's an old, very old boat. Stopped travelling a long time ago. It looks as if somebody had fun in it once upon a time. Like everything else, it wears, things wear out, I suppose. It's in a very bad state. My goodness, this steering is getting awfully stiff. I can hardly move it. I think it's getting worse. Rosie, was that you? No, I didn't make that noise, Jim. Ooh, grindy windy noises. Yes, I think that was our boat because our boat's all worn out and rusty as well. Sheesh. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh dear, there's something dreadfully wrong with the boat. I don't know. 
I can hardly steer at all now. Oh, oh it's come off. Oh, it's broken. Oh. Hey, Jim, we're stopping. Are we there? Uh, where? Bedley. Uh, don't think so. We know we're special. We've just stopped. Mm, I can't see anything. <gasps> Quick, fish go! Oh. I can't steer the boat without this, can I? So I'm going to carry it along the towpath and see if I can find someone to help me to repair it. What now, Fizzle Pot? Um, well, we can go drawing and collecting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Rosie. There's, There's not, not much, much to do, do here. here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can move on somewhere better. Yeah, but <laughs> Duck doesn't <laughs> want to stay <laughs> here on his own. We could take him with us. We could take the boat. <gasps> Pull the boat <laughs> along the towpath like a long, long time ago. Yeah, <laughs> go get that rope. <laughs> yes, oh. pull the boat. Ready, Rosie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been hard work a long, long time ago. Oh. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. I say I've done a stupid thing. You've... Look what I've done. I've broken this off my boat. Yes, you, you broke this one's neck. Is that what it's called? Yes, that's. I don't know how I did it. Boatman's but... time. Is this a place where you mend boats? Yes, we can. It is? We can repair that can... in our blacksmith shop. Can you? Where well... is your boat? Well, it's about a mile down the canal. Oh. Well, Mandy will take the horse and tow it back oh, for you. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes. They used to pull boats with horses in the old days, didn't yes, they? Yes, that's what we did, yes. Is that better than using an engine? Well, uh, the old boat, a good many old boatmen still prefer the horse to the, to the engine, because you can talk to horse where you'd look daft talking to engine. Yeah, that's right. Great. Oh. Well, hello. 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 What's the horse's name? Blue. Blue. Hello, Blue. Oh, I see. He's got blue eyes. Their boat steery thing's working, Rosie. Not yeah. fair. Yeah. <laughs> We're stuck here. What we need is a prince to rescue us. Oh, yeah. Or a princess, Rosie. <laughs> yeah, on a white horse, just like <gasps> in the fair. <fairy> oh, yeah. <laughs> Rosie, what's that I can hear? Oh, clippity chop, clippity chop. <laughs> Is it an engine? No. Over the bridge, what a nice clippy cloppy sound these hooves make on the bridge. Is it a train? No. It sounds uh, as if he's got hard things on his hooves, yeah, isn't it, right? Yes, just do. Is it a boat? No. Is it a plane? <laughs> no. Is it a sheep out in a field? Is it a motor car turning its wheels? Is it a buzzy bee? No. no. Oh. Of course. I, I know, know that, that sound. sound is the sound of a horse. <laughs> Cozy, look. Am I dreaming? No. We really are going to be rescued. Thank you. Hold on. Go on. Go on. Get up. Go on. Good boy. Go on. Get up. Good boy. Come on. Hey, Jim. The horse is pulling the boat. I bet he's not strong enough. 
Oh, it is! Both of us couldn't even pull it. Ride a good horse along a towpath. Pull us along and we will laugh. Louis the horse and princess too. Pull us along and we'll get through. Hello, have you managed it? Yes. Oh, that's good. There you are, just good as no. I suppose things are bound to wear out, aren't yes, they? Yes, things get old and wear out. <laughs> I wonder if duck will wear out. <laughs> <laughs> I see the horse is having his supper. Yes. He's a grand horse, isn't he? He's a smasher. It was lovely being towed. It was so quiet. Louis having his dinner. Mm. You'd be hungry if you pulled this boat all this way. Anyway, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Now, let's put the handle on and give it a try. Slide that on. Slot the peg in. Oh, Ooh, that's lovely. No nasty grindy sounds now. Hey, that gives me an idea for a story. Hey, fish dog! <laughs> I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One fine day, Rosie and Jim were on their way when they saw an old crane. It was too rusty to lift anything now. What Rosie and Jim didn't know was that at that very moment, Rust was eating away at their own boat. I'll steer, said Jim. Suddenly, there was a cling, clang, clatter, bang, and the tiller came away in Boatman Jim's hand. Help, I've broken it, cried Jim. What are you doing, noggin, said Rosie. They were stuck. Push, said Rosie. Pool, said Jim, but it did no good. We'll never get anywhere now, said Rosie. We'll have to live here on this bit of the canal for ever and ever, and we'll never see any new places. Poor Rosie, poor Jim. They did so love to see new places. Just then, they heard a strange sound, one they'd never heard before. Clip, clop, clippity, clop, clippity, clop. It was a horse with a princess riding on it. I thought, said Jim, that it was princes that came to the rescue. Princesses do it as well, said Rosie, and ordinary girls are just as good at it. The lady on the horse threw them a rope, and the horse pulled them along the canal to a place where they could get the boat mended. And it was soon as good as new. Rosie! Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, take a dog on the old back dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Go to play and have a look. We 
he throws his bag. Jim's drawing book, the world drifts by, the window frame, and Rosie and Jim, we play our games. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and Johnny writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a fine day, so I'll begin with that. One fine day. And then I'll draw the canal with two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. I must be about here, and I'm going to go all the way up to here. Oh, there's a place along here where they make glass. If I go along this way, I'll come to it. I think I'll go and see, because I've always wondered how they make glass. Let's go and have a look. Mustn't forget my life jacket. to see where glass comes from. He did, Rosie. He says we're going to go all the way down the canal to find where glass comes from. Yeah. What a noggin. Comes from that cupboard over there. I think he knows his glasses are in the cupboard, Rosie. He wants to know how they're made. Well, I know how to wash them. <laughs> Splish, splosh, rub-a-dub. We'll get the dishes clean. <laughs> Swish, swash, rub and scrub, the best you've ever seen. Swish, swash, swish, swish dish, swash, here's another glass. Thank you. Now, what's left to do? I wash Jim. up the... But... <laughs> <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> My goodness, what a lot of glass there is everywhere. And it's funny stuff. The houses are full of it, of course, with all the windows. They're all made of glass. You can see through them. And you can see yourself in them. They work like mirrors sometimes. And they reflect the light. And you can see a picture in them. All sorts of other glass things as well. In our houses and outside. Here <laughs> is oh. that. <laughs> That's Duck in there, yeah. and here is Rosie, and here is Jim. <laughs> here is Rosie, here is Jim. Here's a glass we, we all, all are, are in. <laughs> See that? Do you like that, Duck? <laughs> of course, mirrors are made of glass as well. Under what else? 
Oh yes, bottles. And drinking glasses that you use inside the house. Mm. Rosie? Oh, when I look at you through this glass, Rosie, you look all higgledy piggledy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have a look. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, Jim! I can see a shape like a big pointed hat. Yeah. Hey, that looks like a big pointed wizard's hat, Rosie. Oh, that must be the old cone where they made glass in the old days. I think I'll have a stop and have a look at that. Doesn't look like a house. More like a um, giant ice cream cone upside down. Good afternoon. Good and afternoon. John. And Christine. So this is what it's like inside the cone. Well, this is where they made glass a long time ago. Really? But why is it this shape? Well, it's basically a chimney. There was a hole in the top for the smoke to go out. Mm -hmm. Then there was a large fire in the centre, and the glassmakers worked in a circle around the edge. Oh, I see. Yes. Yes. <gasps> a wizard's hat as big as a house. Just think how big the wizard must be. <laughs> it's not a house, Noggin. It's made of bricks. It's the chimney of an old glassworks. Ooh, beautiful marbles. I must buy some of these. I'm just choosing some marbles. I've just been looking at this beautiful glassware, and what I'm curious about is what it's made of. I can't guess. It's made from sand. Sand? Mainly sand with a few other ingredients. You mean sand like the sand at the seaside? Sand, it is such lovely stuff to trickle and wickle and pour. Old sand from the sea where the mermaids sing upon the distant shore. Like being at the seaside here. <laughs> um, Jim, what are you making? A sandcastle? No, oh, making a sand boat. It's so hard to believe. It's so beautiful. And how is it made nowadays? Well, would you like to come to see? I'd love to. And what happens to the sand to make it turn into glass? Well, it's heated up until it becomes very hot. And then the molten glass is orange in colour and quite soft. The men are gathering it from the furnace on the end of the iron. It really looks soft and sticky, doesn't it? It is, yes. They have to hold it very carefully, I should yes. think. Yes, well, it's very hot. Yes. Oh, come on, Jim. Come and look at this. C careful, Rosie. It's very hot. They've melted all the sand and things to make it into glass. And then they will blow down the iron. It's like a hollow tube. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. And the glass on the end of it will swell up like a balloon. Oh, yes, I see. What, man? He's blowing it up <laughs> like that. <laughs> blowy, blowy, balloony. And what, what are they making? They're making wine glasses. Mm -hmm. And that's the bowl of the wine glass that you can see there being made. Yes, and it's still hot. Yes, it's very hot. Yes, yes. yes. so nobody can touch it. Oh, no. And no. it's still soft as well. Yes, it's very soft. Oh, Jim. That soft stuff is turning into glass. That's, that's magic. magic. And now he's got it on the arms of his chair and he's twirling it backwards and forwards. What is he doing there? Well, he's getting it ready to put the stem of the wine glass. And here comes a man with some more hot glass on the end of a rod. Well, he's going to make that into the foot. The foot? Oh, where the, the glass stands on yes, the table. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And he's sticking it on and he's going yes. to... And then he's going to smooth it. Smoothing it with yes. a piece of wood. Mm. Smooth it, smooth it, smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. Smooth it. He's turning it round and round and round and round. Made a new wine glass. And when it goes oh. cold, does it go really hard like the glass I drink out of? 
Yes, that's right. And then a pattern can be cut onto the glass. Out of his trousers. Hey, I'm going to collect them. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, <laughs> and three. One, two, three. Marbles. <laughs> Give us one. <laughs> yeah. one Put it in the Here we go. Oh, uh, the glass oh. marbles. They make wizardly windows, Rosie. Uh, where did you collect them from? Well, um, well, they fell out of Fizzgog's trousers. They ran right down his legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a hole in my pocket. And I've lost all my marbles. There, lovely Shambo. All finished. Well, thank you very much for a fascinating day. You're very welcome, John. Please come again sometime. I will. Thank right. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, look at that. He's coming. I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story. All about Rosie and Jim, and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One fine day. Rosie and Jim were chugging along through a magical crystal city where sunlight sparkled off the glass buildings. They saw a giant with a cone-shaped hat. And inside his hat, hot furnaces turned sand from the seaside into beautiful shining glass. The giant could grant wishes, so Jim wished he could go to the seaside to play in the sand. And suddenly he was there with Rosie building a sandcastle boat. Now Rosie and Jim lived on a boat, so they knew they had to have windows to look out of. It was Rosie's turn to make a wish. She wished for some lovely glass hoops. They made perfect porthole windows for the magic sand boat. When they looked out, they saw the seawater rising all around them. But the sand boat was magic. It sailed away and turned into Rosie and Jim's very own boat, the Rag Doll. Rosie! Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, talking their love on the old rag doll. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye! Rosie and Jim, we play our 
Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and Johnny writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day. So I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the canal with two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Tuck it on. Now, let's have a look at the map the book. I'm here. And if I go this way, I'll get to the boatyard where my boat was built. And that'll make a really good story. I'll start the engine. And it's untied, and off we go. where the rag doll was built. Jim, we're going to a place where they build boats. A boatyard? A boatyard? Huh? All the way down along here. <laughs> yeah. Real boats, Rosie. Yeah. Oh, oh what's that? <gasps> well, oh, look. There's a man, and he's in a teeny weeny boat, and he's collecting some fish. Oh, it's a Teeny weeny boat. I'll draw that. <laughs> Morning. Lovely day. Teeny weeny tiny tiny little fishy boat. Jim, look, there's another boat. I can't look. I'm still drawing this one. Uh, is it bigger than the first one? Is it bigger or is it smaller? Um, uh, bigger, bigger, I think. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh yeah. I'll draw that one next. Um, greedy, greedy, bigger boats, bigger boats, bigger, bigger, bigger boat. Oh look, Jim, there's another boat. I can't look. I'm still drawing this one. Oh. Hello. Hello. Morning. Look, there's another boat, Jim. I oh. can't. I'm still drawing. Is it smaller than the last one? No, it's bigger. It's the biggest yet. Oh, um, that's the biggest one. Well, I'll draw that one. After the other lot. Oh, oh that's people, the biggest... People, people. Oh. Morning. Lovely day. Biggest boat. Oh, that's a nice drawing. One, two, three boats. Three boats. Big boats and little boats and some in between. Fat boats and thin boats, the best you've ever seen. <laughs> Rosie? Yeah? That's the little boat. Yeah, uh, and that's the bigger boat. Mm -hmm. And that one is the biggest boat. <laughs> 
big boats and little boats and some in between. Fat boats and thin boats, the best you've ever seen. <laughs> Here we are. There's the boatyard where David builds boats like mine. There he is with his dog. How are you doing? Hello, David. He's John, son. Come on, come and see John. Hey, it's John. OK, here we go. Thank you. I've never seen a boat being built before. I'd love to know how it's done. How are you? How do you, John? How, how are you? Quack, 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 quack. Thanks, Thanks Doc. Doc! Thanks! <laughs> Rosie, come on! Rosie, where'd you get that biscuit from? Farm biscuit on ten. Well, where's mine? There was only one. Sorry. <laughs> you could have this, though. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, it's all sticky, Ricky. <laughs> have it back. Oh, OK. <laughs> Do you know, I've never seen a boat being built. Haven't you? No. no. Oh, well, now's your opportunity, John. Thank As you. you can see, we build them all out of steel. And we cut it with a flame cut. We actually burn it to cut you it. You burn it? Yeah, mm. we burn it with a special torch. together we actually weld it which is like melting the steel together to stick it together so it's like me making a model with cardboard yeah, yeah more or less huh? and I, I glue it but That's you right, you yeah. melt it well you your cardboard is your sheets flat sheets the same as we have flat yeah. sheets of plate That's right. and the only difference is you'll glue yours when I yeah. weld mine together yeah so that's how you make boats. <laughs> I can make a finger fangled boat like that. You could invent the metal noodle paint. Aha! Uh -huh. But I could bend a piece of cardboard though, couldn't I? Just like he said. Hey, shall we go and build a boat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jimmy is a boatman, his boats are of the best. They sail the waters of the land to north and east and west. Oh, Rosie is a boatwoman, her boats are better than his. <laughs> they sail the waters of the land from north to south and this part. <laughs> Yeah. My boat's better than yours. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Here we go. No, it's not, because mine's made of shiny paper. Splish, splash, splash. My boat's better than yours. Splish, splash, splash, splish. Yeah. My boat <laughs> goes miles and miles of <laughs> the sea. My <laughs> boat is... Oh. Oh, dear. Oh! My boat's got all soggy muggy. Help! Rescue me, Rosie! Don't worry, Fizzpot. Rosie to the rescue! Help! <laughs> splish! Splash! Splash! Help! Oh, oh, oh saved you, <laughs> Noggin! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can go in my boat. Look, Thank you, look Rosie. my boat now. Oh! Look at my boat, it's got all soggy woggy. <laughs> Yours isn't all soggy woggy, Rosie, because it's shiny. <laughs> splish, splash, rosy nuggle, save me from the gurgle wurgle. <laughs> splish, splash, Jimmy Noggin, save you from the splashy, splashy, <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> 
And then when we finish the boat, we've done all the welding and the shaping and the cutting. Then we grind it all up to get to make it all nice and smooth before mm. we paint it. Mm. And then when it's all been ground and smooth and painted, then we put it in the water. Wonderful. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I really feel I know something about how boats are made now. Oh, I'm glad you learned a bit, John. Yes, yeah, I hope it. you've enjoyed your stop here. I really enjoyed it. Oh, great. And Thank I shall you. enjoy all the more travelling on uh, the rag doll now oh, I know how it's nice made. I'd to see the rag doll again. She's looking great, isn't she? Oh, a wonderful boat. Yeah. Rock a bye, sleepy in a boat. It's nice to sing when you're afloat. Rocking on the gentle stream, cozy nights and sweet dreams. Oh! Duck is quacking his quacky song. Time for home. We've, We've stayed too long. <laughs> Thank you very much. Pleasure, John. Bye bye. Look to, look to have met you. All the best. Oh, look at that. He's coming. I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim set sail in their big boat, the Rag Doll. They came to the place where the boat had been built years before. It was a boatyard. They saw all kinds of boats being made. They saw little boats middle-sized boats and great big boats then they both made boats of their own and put them in the water they both set off far away across the sea on a voyage the winds blew and rocked their boats the water soaked into Jim's paper boat. Help! I'm sinking! Brave little Rosie sailed up in her foil boat that would never sink. Keep still! I'm coming! She pulled him out of the water and they sailed away together. Then the water rocked their boat gently and they went to sleep and they dreamed of floating far away across the world. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, Chunky Ben Dong on the old back door. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, Chunky Ben Dong on the old rag doll. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's back. Jim's drawing book, the world drifts by, the window frame, and Rosie and Tim we play our games. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and John, he writes them down. <laughs>
Hello. I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? It's a rainy day today, so I'll begin with that. One rainy day. And then I'll draw the canal with my two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Oh, what a wet day. I put my socks out last night to dry and look at them. Sopping wet. Oh, dear me. Now, if I look at my book, I might find somewhere with some shops and hopefully with a laundrette where I can get all my washing done. Well, I'm about here. If I go all the way down here, there's a place where some roads cross the canal. There are sure to be some shops there. Go to the back, start the engine. And off I go. Jim. I think if I go up here and see if I can find somewhere with a laundrette. Dear Scott said we're going down the canal that way to find a laundrette so we can wash our washing. No, Rosie, it's too wet. Look at all the rain. Splitter splatter in the rain. Here we go, it's wet again. Jim, we've got so much dirty washing, our basket's full. It's all right, Rosie. There's plenty of room in here. Just squash it down a bit. No, it comes. I'll sing you a song. About a pong. A pong that tickles your nose. <laughs> is it long or is it strong, this poggy old song? <laughs> uh, it's a question that nobody knows. Nobody knows. Why ten little toes all stuck in a stocking stick? So shocking. <laughs> <laughs> but they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> like a skunk in a zoo. Oh, poo. 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 Laundry now. See if I can find a good place to get it washed. Laundry. Hey, Rosie. Yeah. These are a lot of poggy old clothes. Let's go and wash them with fish dog. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What a day. Yes, last day today. Hello. My name's John. And my name's Jill. How do you do? How do you do? Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Well, 
Well, I've got a lot of washing, and the trouble is, I've never used a washer tier before. Well, I'll be glad to help you then. Oh, that's nice of you. Right. Is it going there? Yeah, I'll bung it all in there. Hold on. Yes, hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry about the smell. <laughs> I've been never serving mind. it up a long time, you know. All right. Yeah, it's a bit pungy. Thank you very much. What next? Now then, do you want it on a hot wash or a warm wash or a hot wash? I don't know. You don't know. Which do you recommend? I think warm would be the best. Well, so that it doesn't shrink. Yes, All right. Good. And you also need your soap here. How's the lid? Oh, just a minute before you start. I think I might have forgotten something. Can I have another? Yes, yeah. have another. Hey, fish dog's in there. What? Fish dog. Oh, I forgot my towels. What are you going to do? Do you mind keeping an eye on it? Yeah, go I'm ahead. Go ahead and play. I won't be long. Right. I'll rush back to the boat. Right. Thank you. Okay. It's still raining. <laughs> You're going to get soaked. Oh. Bye. This is the laundrette, Jim. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Ooh. Nobody's looking. These are funny televisions, Rosie. I don't like these programs. Cool. Makes me go all dizzy wizzy. That's not a television noggin. It's got all clothes inside of it. Oh, well, why do they go roundy, roundy, round? <laughs> well, it's got to whiz out all the dirt, silly. Oh. Dizzy wizzy washing day, whizzing all the dirt away. Put them in and take them out, and turn your trousers inside out. <laughs> hey, fish dog's gone. Put our washing in. With his washing. Yeah. Hey Jim, I've got your smelly sock here. Hey. Don't forget your, don't forget your knickers. Knickers! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, they suck. Oh, Rosie, fish dog's coming. Quick, quick. Oh, Joe, yes, you there? Yes. Oh, hello. Hello. I've got it. Right. It's still pouring outside. Yes, I can see that. It's dreadful. Oh, this right. is a lot now. That's everything, are you That's sure? Absolutely everything, right. yes. Absolutely, sir. And we can get it on the mic. Let's start it off now. <laughs> and you need a one pound coin. One pound coin. That's right. One pound coin. Another pound coin? Yes. Sure. One pound coin. Wizzy, 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 wash, washing day. Hurry up and we can go and play. Wizzy, 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 wizzy. I think they're finished. Let's see if we can get them out. Collect lots of nice, lovely, clean washing. Oops. Hmm? That looks a bit small. Where's the other one? Good gracious. What's happened? He's got your sock. Your knickers. No, he hasn't. <laughs> oh, he has. <laughs> help. Jill, Jill, can you help, please? Yes. Something happened to my washing. It shrunk. I think the water must have been too hot. Quick, fish dog's gone. Ah, uh, fish. Uh, oh, yeah, roses. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's oh, fish dog's Yeah. Uh, Come on, Jim. All our washing's clean now. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh dear! <laughs> funky face, funky face! <laughs> Look at my washing. What's wrong with it? It's shrunken. Tiny. 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 With socks. Look at this. Oh. There's nothing wrong with that one. That looks all right, doesn't it? Well, it's another one, somewhere. Where? I don't know. Um, no, I think they're all right. Yeah, they look OK. Oh, there not be anything wrong with Well, it stopped raining, so there's a chance for my washing to get dry now, especially as the wind started to blow a bit. But, you know, there are two mysteries about this washing trip of mine. The first was that things shrunk very small, and now they've grown to normal size again. Look at my sock. The second mystery is there's only one sock hanging there. I took my favourite pair of red socks to the laundry, and now I've only got one. I don't know what's happened to the other one. 
Rosie, look at this sock. It's got all big. Yes, the Wizzy Washer stretched it. It won't fit on my little feet now. No. Anyway, there's only one sock here. Oh, yeah, and socks usually come in pairs, don't they? Like this. One, two, two oh, socks. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> but Jim, one hat would do. That's nearly big enough to be a hat. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've only got one head. <laughs> one head. <laughs> <laughs> What's that doing there? It's my sock. What are you doing with my sock, eh? Oh. It is. It's my favourite red sock. Oh, I'd love to have that back. Oh, Rosie! It was Fizzgog's sock. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. My favourite red pair of socks. Back together again. Nice and clean, and the right size. What a funny old day it's been today. Oh, he's coming. I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One rainy day, Rosie and Jim were going along in their boat and there was such a pong. Pooh, what's that pong, said Jim. It's your dirty sock, said Rosie. It's jumped out. Quick, catch it. He ran this way and that way. And Rosie and Jim ran after it. Couldn't catch it. No wonder there's a pong, said Rosie. Our oh, basket's full of pongy, dirty washing. They went to the laundrette and pushed all their dirty socks and knickers and things in a washing machine. They went whizzy whizzy round and round and came out clean. But some were much too little, and some were much too big, and Jim still only had one red sock. Back on the boat, Duck had a new hat, a funny hat, a pongy red hat. My sock, said Jim. He popped it in the sink and washed it clean and hung it out to dry next to his other sock. Back together at last. A nice, clean pair of red socks, said Jim. About time, said Rosie. Rosie! Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, talking and dumb on the old back door. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. The end.